<laughs> yes. We are our, our fan plays games. games. Yeah. <laughs> and yes, welcome yes. back. Yep. Welcome back. <laughs> part two. Part two. We are back. Part two. With part two. Yes. <laughs> Rating them games. Rating yes. the games from 2023. Yes. 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 It, I like this. Well, last week, uh, I like this. I like because people can see, you know, family can see that we've been playing some games. We played a lot of games, but, some but games. last week, not too many of them got an OFPG. No, it was a very small yeah. amount. But this yeah. time, I think it's going to be maybe, a lot. Well, maybe this it, week it'll be better. It's, it's some games on the list. <laughs> All that right. I really, really like. Okay, well, we will see. Yes. We will see. We will see. So you guys yes. stay tuned. Get some coffee. Buckle up. But before we get into all that good stuff, Mick is going to tell us what's going on in the board game yes. world. Yes, there's some stuff going on. Some stuff going on? Now... I'm, oh, wait, wait, I'm, wait, wait, wait. Are what? you going to do your, your sound? Oh, yes! Because people, uh, family, you know what? <laughs> family, I know some people have been hurt for the mandate that Starla gave me. She gave me a mandate, family. No more of the breaking news. <laughs> but from the demands of the OFPG family, I have to bring it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, we're back, baby. We are back. Yeah, we're yeah, back. Yeah, I read the demands, and so I said, we're well, back. Uh, I had to relent. A little bit more. <laughs> a little bit for all the times we missed. And here you go. Yes. <laughs> all right, so what's yes. going on? A little bit we missed. We missed. <laughs> yes. Yes, we missed. All right, so this is what's going on. Okay. First, I'm very excited. Okay. Now, fam, y'all know how much we love Ticket to Ride. Yes. We do. We have a lot yes. of it. Especially the small box games, yes. which they call the City Series. Uh -huh. Well, now, March 29th, mm -hmm. coming up. It's coming up. March 29th, 2024. They're releasing Ticket to Ride Paris. Ooh. Yes, back Ooh in. Ooh la la. Yes, <laughs> Paris. Yes, and, then, and, and now the, the mechanism or the little mechanism they have in there is that you have to get the red, white, and blue coloring of the flag to get some points. Oh. Yes. Oh, that's a different twist. That's a different twist. Yeah, different yes. twist. I'm looking forward to I it. I am too. That sounds exciting. I'm looking ooh forward la to la. it. Ooh, 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 ooh la la. I'm doing my, my French. That's my only French accident. Ooh, 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 ooh la la. la. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, I'm looking forward to it. Ticket to ride, Paris. Paris. Yes. But they are pumping those out. Yes. Lord, they maybe, maybe we'll get in Omaha. No. I, I just, okay. Now, now we did <laughs> Now we did see the great Alan Moon. We have met him. Yes. And we did throw out. Omaha, because we got, this is where trains are, yes, yes. You, you know, Union Pacific, yes. this is where we, you know, yeah. come on, Maybe. come on, Mr. Moon, come on, Maybe. let's go, let's go, <laughs> all right, so now, during this time, it's Mardi Gras time, it is Mardi, Mardi Gras. Gras time, in addition to Black History Month, yes, in addition <laughs> to Black History Month, yes, yes, but the thing is, with Mardi Gras, you know, the king cake. Yes. The king cake is in the New Orleans Mardi Gras colors mm -hmm. of green, yellow. And purple. And purple. Mm -hmm. And it's a cake that they put this on. It's and it's like dangerous. A, it's, a, it's a doughy cake. And it's dangerous. And if you cut into it, you know, it's it's like a little baby. It's like a little a little little plastic baby in there. It's, it's dangerous. It's supposed to symbolize the baby Jesus. And if you get the baby Jesus, when you cut it and you get the baby Jesus, it gives you, uh, they say here... Uh, let me see. It symbolizes luck and prosperity. Yes. Yeah, but see, you don't always cut into it. Sometimes you're eating on the king cake. And, and you might go, no, what is that? Most people bite into it. They don't yes. cut into it. No. And that's where the danger is. That's where the danger is. <laughs> With that little baby. So be careful. Don't eat the baby. <laughs> Your luck and prosperity might just go out the door. Don't eat it. <laughs> it might go out the door. All right, so Kate Clark. Mm -hmm. Now she's a lawyer, mm -hmm. and she, you know, she kind of dabbles in art. Okay. Yeah, she kind of, you know, paints and stuff. Now she really loves king cake, mm. really, to the point. Now it's getting dangerous. I know you said leave it alone. I, I, I know you said leave it alone, mm. but she loves king cake so much that she kind of, um, kind of made a monopoly version. A King Cake Monopoly? Yes. Yes. Ooh. It's uh, it's Ooh. called King Capeopoly. King Capeopoly. Mm. And she substituted a lot of the 
you know, the squares of the, mm -hmm. you know, streets and stuff with bakeries. Mm. Yes, with bakery names. Ooh. And and, she, and she's done this a couple of years. Mm -hmm. And whoever gets the the Broadway space is mm -hmm. one place that she really loves. Mm -hmm. And I mean, she does like a little contest. who Which bakery gets the Covenant Broadway yes. space? But in the beginning, you know where Med, uh, Mediterranean mm -hmm. Avenue is? You know, like when you start off. Yeah. She start off that little kind of low rent area yeah. with Walmart and the airport gift store. Mm. Yeah, that's not a bakery. Uh, well, you can get a king cake from the oh, airport yeah, I guess you could. gift store, mm. and you get it from oh, so Walmart. This is a place where you can get king. Cake. Yes, yes, okay. because last year mm -hmm. she had a, a frozen king cake from your freezer. Mm. Yeah, you're doing too much. Ah! <laughs> she ain't doing a little bit extra. You're doing too much. That's extra. You know, I, I respect. You know your love that for king cake is extra, but but you you've gone above and beyond for the king Th cake. That's a little extra, mm. but she said that <laughs> you know the board game is her contribution to the magic that is Mardi Gras. I don't know if it's a contribution. It's contrib well, yeah, uh, yeah. I'm gonna have to I don't come know. with you, Star. I don't, I don't know, Star. I don't um, know. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mm. yeah. Okay, yeah. Now, now I do. <laughs> But you know what, Starla, was so crazy? Mm -hmm. I have never had king cake. Well, I have. You have? And it's dangerous. You know, because it's been around me, close. Mm -hmm. It's been close, but I've never mm -hmm. had king cake. Yes. I got to have it. I've seen people bite down on the baby. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Oh, Lord. yeah well, you know, it's, it's, it's that time. Maybe we need to go ahead and do that. Mm -hmm. I got to find king cake somewhere. Okay. <laughs> if you uh, find it in go Omaha, <laughs> Nebraska, I gotta see if I can find that. But you know, hey, you know, we'll see. Okay. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> so, uh, Kate, you go on here. You go on. You You're go on. Do that. Your thing. You do your thing. <laughs> you do you. You, boo. you do you, boo. Yes. <laughs> and I just want my last thing. I just want to call out. You know, call out to Black History. Okay. You know, please celebrate. Yes. You know, go out and find something new. Yes. Uh, you know, about the contributions of African Americans in this country. Mm -hmm. You know, go find something. Because, you know, every year I find something new. Yes. Let's find something. I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. like, I didn't know that was, was going on. Mm -hmm. So go out. Find out. Because it's not just for us. It's for everybody to see what's yes. going on during black history. Yes. Come on, y'all. Black just, history is American yeah, history. Yeah, just like our shirt says, black joy is revolutionary. Yeah. Yes. Yes, <laughs> yes. 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 So, yeah, that's all I that's got. All you got. That's all I got. All right. So, now we are going into the heart of the episode. Here we go. <laughs> All right, we have made it to the heart of the episode. Yes. We are going to rate some games from 2023. Yes, we are. Yes, we yes. are. Yes, now, we are. Now, last week, I think we stopped at F. We yes. went from uh, the numbered uh, games to the letter F. Uh -huh. And this week, we're starting with G, and we're going all the way to almost the middle, or actually the beginning of the S games. We're going to stop at SEA. All right, so because we stopped yes. at 28. So now there's number 29. number 29. All right. All right. Now let me give you uh, some information on the criteria that yes. we use. We need that. To come up that. with this rating. Yes. Yes. Okay. So we had five categories. Mm -hmm. Now the first one is artwork and components. Mm -hmm. And the artwork and components, they must be interesting, colorful. If there are people involved, we're looking for diversity. Mm -hmm. And it has to stay in line with the theme. Mm -hmm. It has to all match up with the theme. Yes. And then uh, the next one is gameplay. Mm -hmm. Is the game fun? Mm. Is it interesting? Mm. Does it make sense? Mm. And is it supported by the rule book? And when I say supported, is the rule book easy to read? Can you, you know, read a few lines and be able to understand what's going on? Because some of these rule books can be daunting. Yes. And that's something that's important with gameplay. Yes. The next one are the mechanics. Mm -hmm. Okay, and they must work well with the theme and complement the components. Yes. You know, if you got a worker placement game, you want, you know, things that look like workers or you want things that's gonna work well with that theme. Yeah. Um, the replayability. Mm -hmm. Do you want to play this game again yes. and why? That's important. Yeah, so that's a yes or that's no important. and why. Yeah, that's important. And then the last one is theme. Mm -hmm. The theme should be interesting, Again, if there are people involved, it should be inclusive and diverse. Yes. The theme should be well thought out mm -hmm. and it should complement the other criteria, such as the artwork, the mechanics and all of that. So those are the things that we looked for when we decided to give 
uh, a different a number for whatever that uh, particular category is. Mm -hmm. So those are our criteria, and we're giving a one to ten, mm -hmm. and then after that we'll have an average. So each category can have a one to ten, with one being the worst mm -hmm. and ten being the best. Mm -hmm. So we're looking for those games that have that it factor. Let's so do the it. First one on our list. Uh huh. Is Gap yes. from Arcane Wonders? Yeah. Okay. Yes. What, what What are you What are you saying about Gap? I didn't. You know, we've had some fantastic card games last year. Yes. And going into this year is mm -hmm. gonna be some good ones too. I know. Mm -hmm. I can feel it. But yes. last year was some really great card yes, games. Very. Yeah. I agree. This one, one of them. This one. Okay. One of them. I, I'm just gonna say you know. Gap. There's a gap. There's a gap. <laughs> There's a gap there. There's a gap. And, and I just couldn't feel it. Yeah, I couldn't um, feel it either. The artwork of the cards, the cards are beautiful. Just, yeah, they're very, um, they're very they're glowing. They're cards. They're, yeah, nice cards. Yes. Great quality. Yeah. So that was the highest mark I gave the game. Yeah. But for me, it, I think it was also the mechanics. The mechanics, because it was kind of strange how, how it was played. How you to put the cards together. Yeah, and how you, you know, you kind of get set collections yeah. from. It was, it was really just, it was weird. Yeah, and I think, uh, too many people take these games and they want to make them so unique, so difficult. Yeah. You know, simplicity is best. Yes. This game, it was just to be overdone. Yeah. It was just overdone. It yeah. was just, you had us doing things that, that were too unnecessary and it just took away from the fun element for yes. me. Yes. Um, again, like. Because a lot of people yeah. at the table when we played it, mm -hmm. you know, one time when we played it, a lot of people at the table just like, they were just like, what the? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so, then we tried it again, and we were still like, what the? <laughs> it, it wasn't, <laughs> what is, it wasn't what? something that I wanted to keep yeah, playing. I'm yeah. like, you know what? We got a ton of card and games. Then, and then you're putting all these good card games yeah. on us, and then yeah. this, you know, it just kind of got, you know, ran over. Yeah, it got so, ran over. So for me, I, I gave it a 3.4. Whoa! You really yeah, didn't like I, it. I wasn't a fan, and I, I love cards. I gave it a 5. Well, I, I'm, I'm just saying for me, as I said wow. last week, you know, we don't have a lot of time. No. And so if I'm gonna spend no. my time, I have to spend You wanna my have time fun spending your time. Having fun. This one did not do that for yeah, me. Yeah, me either. And me when you either. put it, you know, on the, on the table with other card games yeah. that I really, really, really enjoyed, yeah. it just fell flat. Yeah. It really did. All right. So yeah, so overall, so you gave it a five, I did a 3.4. Mm. Our overall score for Gap is 4.2. Woo, okay. All right. All right, and these next two are on you. All right, so the next two, one is Globe Trotting from Road to Infamy Games. It's a very interesting game where it was on Kickstarter and it's, you know, it's all these globes. You actually have a big old globe in front of you and you're basically trying to connect up different routes in your travels to get points and be better than everyone else, a better globe trotter mm -hmm. in, in that case. And you actually have to write on the globe. Unique game, very interesting. I don't think I would get it because it's a little bit too extra, mm. too much. Oh, it's extra. It's extra. <laughs> it's extra. But it was it was it was interesting. That's why I'm definitely gonna have to say it was interesting. Mm. So I gave it a 8.6. Because oh, it had good. the art, it had the theming. I mean you got a big old globe in front of you. Yeah. You know, you got nice cards and everything. So yes, I gave it 8.6. I mean that's respectable. Yeah, 8.6, that's it was a, a good cool game. game. It was just a little extra. Yeah, a little extra. A little extra. A little too much going on. A, a lot of these games are getting a little extra, but yeah, that one too was much. Extra. <laughs> Extra. But you know, it was the first time we I played it at a Pretz Con, mm -hmm. and that was the first time I ever heard of it. Yeah. So it, you know, it was kind of like you know out there in the ether, and I kind of like, oh, that's interesting. But yeah, <laughs> it was interesting. The next one is the Great Split from Horrible Guild Games. I really like this one. Oh, okay. It's a I cut you choose mechanic mm. with closed drafting and some tables that you have to deal with. But the I cut you choose is that you have a, mm -hmm. some cards in your hand and you split them and you make your opponent, you know, choose which set you're gonna get. Oh. And you keep the you keep the one mm -hmm. that they didn't pick. Love that mechanic. Wow. And the great set, I mean the great split. You know, mm -hmm. it was all, you know, the, you know, the theming was cool. The, you know, the, uh, you know, the art was kind of like the roaring 20s, mm -hmm. you know, kind of looked, the, you kind of art deco. Mm -hmm. Love that. I gave it a nine, y'all. Great split. Nine. Definitely check that out. It was fun. So that was one fun. is Mick Endorse. Yes, Mick Endorse. <laughs> ding, ding. I, I, did I get a ding, ding? Yes. It was Mick Endorse. Yes. Uh, yes. So the next one on our list is In the Footsteps of Darwin. From Sorry We're French. Yes. I have talked about this game. This several lady times. here loves that game. Love it. Several times. You love it. 
You love it. And I would love to play it again. Yes. You always say that. So it has the you replayability factor. Yes, it does. And for me, this game, you are a junior naturalist and mm -hmm. you are trying to help Charles Darwin identify species and, yes. and, and finish his book. Except for snakes. Except for snakes. Right. You don't want to identify those. Even though there was a group, she hate I guess, the snakes, of the junior naturalists Y'all know she hates the snakes. She so hates some the of snakes. them did yeah. it. I, it would be me in that group. Yeah. But you try to help them, and you've got the little beagle ship that you're traveling on, mm -hmm. and it goes a little rundale around yes. the board. I just thought that the quality of the components were great. Yes. I thought the artwork mm -hmm. was great. I thought the replayability was there. Yes. The gameplay, the mechanics, yes. the theme. Yes. And I just gave it 10 across the board, Woo! and it was a 10. Really? It's a 10. Yeah, you really do like I that game. I love You know, a lot of people talk Darwin. about the other uh, Darwin game. Yes. That everybody talks about that one, but this is the one that got forgotten. It did. And, and, and it's a wonderful this game. It's a, it's a gateway game that families will fall in love with. I think I so, too. It. So yeah. what, what score did you give? I gave it a 9.2. Oh, that's, that was a safe score for you, sweetheart. I, I, safe? I was a little worried oh, that you Lord, would go lower I, than high. I had to get safe, y'all. I, I was a little worried. Oh, okay. I, <laughs> I was All a little right. worried about you, but you did good. I was threatened. <laughs> I was three. <laughs> you did good. Okay. All right, so with your 9.2 yes. and my 10, yes. it gets a 9.6. So it is OFPG endorsed. Ding, ding. <laughs> yes. Now, everybody, endorsed. when we do our scores, he does his own scores, I do mine, and then we put a list together yes. so we can get the final number. Yes. So I, I'm just happy you did a good yes. job. Now, the next one is Inside <laughs> Job by uh, Cosmos yes. Games. Yes. And it's a really cool little, now, it's a co-op. Co-op with the trader mechanic. Okay, let, let me correct. Is it, it, it is, come on now. It is a come on mostly co-op No, game. it's a co-op game. It is a trick-taking game. With a game. trader in and, your and, midst. And you got somebody on the inside who's trying, trying, to, to, mess yeah, trying to mess up things, but it is a mostly. And you, you, were, you were the trader one time and won. Yes. See, that's cool. I was a trader one time, <laughs> family, and I, I was helping out more than I hurt. I was helping out folk. Yeah, but you're trying to complete some missions and you just want to make sure that that yeah. insider doesn't stop you from doing it. It's that. a trick-taking game. It is a trick-taking game. It's crazy. And it is just awesome. I, see, games like this always fascinate yeah. me when you come up with a new way yeah. to do trick-taking and make it fun. Now, I can't. Now this is from the same group that made The Crew. Yes. But you don't, you don't want to play The Crew. Uh, well, this one I like. I, I, I like it. You got to play The Crew, Star. I keep telling you. You got to play The Crew, man. All right. Well, I'll it's, have it's to do that. It's a good one. It's a good one. So for me, uh -huh. Um, I, I gave it a great score because I love it. Mm. I gave it an 8.6. I gave it an 8.8. .8. So just a couple better than you. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, so what it got? It, it, it comes up with the 8.7, which okay. is a respectable score. It's a respectable. Score. It's it not even, fun. you know, we don't even have it in our collection. Yeah, we played with some other people. Yeah, we played it a lot with yeah, some other folk, but we still like it. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a like wonderful, it. wonderful yes. game. It is yes. worth your time. It is. Look at it. It is. All right, now the next one is uh -huh. Junk Drawer. From 25th Century Games. Yes. <sighs> well, I mean, the art is cool and the theme is cool, but you know, the play, it's a little bit, you know, kind of, you know, really, really gateway. It's very light. It's very light. I think for folk getting into the hobby, I think they would love this, you know, especially with family. It's a tile laying game where you yeah. just, you know, trying to lay your tiles in a certain way, mm -hmm. a, a conditions that, you know, come up in different scoring um, uh -huh. objectives that they give you. Because you have like yeah. four different draws you got to deal with. And each draw has a condition of how you need to put the tiles in. And it's... It's cool. You know, I flip over a card and it says, hey, you got to put these earbuds somewhere and you try to put the earbuds somewhere. And, and you know, um, it, it's it's cool. It's very, very light. Very, very light. Um, for very, me, very light. Now, I don't know about the rest of you guys, but mm. we have a couple of junk drawers and we just throw stuff in. Yes. I don't want to organize my own junk drawer. No, she and didn't. And now you want me Family, she said she don't even want to, to play own, a game. She don't even want to do her own junk drawer. I'm organizing drawer. a junk drawer. Yeah. So when I'm playing this game, I'm thinking about, oh, I should be cleaning out my own drawer. Really? Why am I sitting here cleaning out this drawer? Seriously. You be thinking, I'm thinking I that? I just, why? you know, I just, uh, you know, I'm amazed when I, you know, we play it. And I'm like, oh, man, that is in our <laughs> drunk drawer. You know, that, that I do have that. And that, I put that just yeah, somewhere. Yeah. You know, you're like, okay, the I, theme I, really goes well. I, I, no, no, <laughs> no. The theme is like housework. No, I'm organizing a junk drawer <laughs> and feeling guilty yes. because I have a couple of junk drawers that yes. need to be organized. Uh -huh. 
it's very it's very very gateway yes i'm, I'm sure light. that you know if you've got younger kids or people that are light. new this yes. would be great yes. for them to learn how to play a tile uh, laying games yes. with polyominal with, with, with objectives that you objectives. must meet. Yeah, very easy to do. Yes. But it, I think it traumatized me because Traumati <laughs> you got you got trauma. You got I triggered. Got, I got I you got, got triggered. triggered. I got triggered when I, I was like, okay, I should be cleaning up my own drunk drawer. <laughs> I think we have that in there. I think we need to throw it out. Is that, you know, <laughs> batteries are they still in date? Lord. You know, can we say so? Anyway, uh, junk drawer didn't do too well. Unfortunately, uh -huh. I gave it a seven. Oh, that's not a bad score, but it's it's a seven. I gave it six point six. See, you must have got triggered. Well, it was, it, no, I didn't get triggered. It just like it was so light, you know. I, it didn't give me the thrill of putting it back on the table after we played it a few times. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, uh, I'm I'm kind of good. Yeah, you but know, again, if you're good. introducing people to the hobby, this may yeah, be yeah. the right speed. This, this might for, be the right for speed. Or if you've got younger yes. kids, like eight or nine or ten, this may be the right speed for them. But overall, our score comes out to a six point eight. Yes. Yes. All right, next one Nar. from Pandasaurus Games. Woo. Uh, now this Nar. one, you are the leader of a Viking crew. Whoa. And, and you are trying to um, explore new territories. Mm -hmm. You know, you're racing around. You got some head going management going lands. on. You know, and, and, and you've got these Vikings. You're recruiting Vikings. And I just thought it was the most interesting card it's, game. Yes, it's most. It's, it's, I thought I it was mean, interesting. You're doing set collection. Set collection. And it is so cool. You know, you have this row of Vikings yeah. that you have, and you get, you know, different yeah. resources from yeah. that. And you try to get the right set yeah. of pirates to meet the conditions to be able to go and to a different land. Like, mm -hmm. you need two yellows and then yeah. two cards that are not the same. Right. And you, then you can put those up and then get to that land that you try yeah. to get to. Take that card to get points to go around. Right. So. I really enjoyed this game. I was I surprised. Did too. But I told you, Starla, I said we had to get on yeah, table. Yeah, we had to. You I said, know, Starla, we have to get this game on table. I've been hearing too much. Well, I gave it high marks on everything except the artwork. Wow. I felt that the artwork missed the mark when it comes to diversity. What, what, the artwork was what, not what, what, diverse. It, uh, it wasn't. It was not. Well, it was Scandinavia, though. It doesn't matter. The game goes worldwide. You've got that to think true. about the worldwide That's population. True. That's true. We can't just base it on the country. That so. is true. Yes, NARA was a really fun game. Yes. It was a really fun game. I'm glad I got it. we got it on the table. Yes. I'm glad we played it. And I gave it a 9.2. Okay. Because it was a real well-rounded game. I agree. That I can go back to and have some fun. I totally agree. You know, it's a small box game, but when you put it out, it's like a big old full blown. It, it really is. Yeah. Now, at overall score with your 9.2 and mm -hmm. my 9, it gets a 9.1. So it is OFPG endorsed. And it, is, <laughs> it deserves it. It, it does. definitely deserves it. Yes. yes, it does. Yes, it does. Now, next one on our list yes. is La Granja Deluxe Master Set mm -hmm. from Board and Dice. Yes. I, I, I don't know what to say about the game. It's, it's board and dice. It's board and dice, The components are just quality. Yes. You've got these multi-use cards. It's thematic. And let me tell you, <sighs> when we played it, we loved the multi-use cards. Yes, we did. Yes. I know it's an older <laughs> game that they brought back, and they made it gorgeous. They did. And we never played the original game, yeah. so we played this one, the reprint, and it, you know... And it's great. It we is love great. It. We I love mean, you've got some dice rolling. Yes. You've got drafting. Yes. I mean, you, you're growing grapes and olives, and you feel like it is so thematic. You've got, it, it, that's, it does. Yeah, you, you feel, feel like, like you're like actually it. working yeah. your little form. <laughs> you know, so I, I really yeah. enjoyed it. So, I enjoyed yeah. it. So for me, I gave it tens across the board. I gave it a nine. Okay. So, that's, that's good. So we already know what's coming down. <laughs> it is OFP endorsed with a 9.5. Yes. <laughs> yes. And it's uh, board and dice be doing their thing. They make board quality, and dice be doing games. their thing. Yes, they do. All right. Yes, they do. And now the next one is so, uh, somebody we, we know very well, <laughs> Roy Cataday. Hey, Roy. And his game, Last Light from Gray Fox Games. We had the opportunity to play this with we him did, yeah. at the World Series of Board Gaming mm -hmm. last year. And it's a, it's a fun game. Now, it's a 4X game. As yes. you guys probably know, she that's, don't do not, that. that's not my her thing. Style. But because it was Roy, yes. I had to sit down and play this game. Yes. And it's got area majority in it. Some, you know, the, and turning, I think, turning, you know, you turn the planets right. It got 3D planets. That 3D planets. 3D planets. And I think the biggest thing for me was the table presence. I love the little yes. planets or the little colorful orbs that they mm -hmm. use for planets. Yes. I really enjoyed that. 
I actually had a good time playing the game. It was yeah. a little bit different for me. Yes, it, it was. It took me a while to catch on to it. Yeah, it's not it, my particular now, style. That's the one thing I have an issue with. Mm -hmm. It's two little things. Two little things. Yeah. It's one... If you fall back behind, you're not going to catch it's, it's up. It's going to be hard. It's yeah. going to be hard. Once you fall a little bit behind, yeah. it's, it's, you can't really catch up that much. Yeah. There's no catch-up mechanic on this one. You, I, you, I agree. You're you kind of behind. You, you might stay behind. You're fighting for third or fourth place yeah. at that point. And then the second one, yeah. what the planets do? Well, you know what? I mean, they're I, beautiful I, and all. The planets are nice. Yeah. You know, it, it really puts a, you know, like, <gasps> everybody looks yeah. at it. Yeah, it's but got the, table presence. But what the planets do? Can I blow up the planet? <laughs> No. Can I capture the, the planet? Planets are, are the I, areas I, I can are, capture well, that, but what do I do with that planet? Well, they signify where you're going. You're going to these particular a, areas. Yeah. Okay. But I, right. I, I had a really good time with it. I mean, I think the highest score for me was the artwork because yeah. it's the artwork, the components, yeah. the table presence, all of that. Um, the gameplay for me, would I play it again? I don't know because it's not my style. Yeah, it's not I'll my play style it again. game. I'll play it again. Yeah. So overall, I gave it a solid score of an eight. And that's for me. I give it an eight point two. Eight point I think I liked it a little bit better than you. You did. A little you bit. Did. Yeah. It was a fun game. Yeah. But yeah, I'm I think Roy did a good job. He did a good job. Oh, excellent you know. game for his, especially his first four his first to, one to board game yeah, design. It was a good I one. thought it was awesome job. Yeah. And he gets an overall eight point one. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Even though Roy don't like you know Euro games that much. <laughs> But yeah, that, this was a great one for But he's him. cool though. We like he Roy. Is, yeah, Roy's like Roy. awesome. Yeah, yeah. All right, so next on our list is Life of the Amazonia yes. from Bad Comet Games. And in this game, you are building a thriving jungle yes. with animals and plants yes. and insects. And it's got wonderful little animeeples and, and it's colorful. It's got table presence. It's eye-catching. And I gave it tens. Really? Well, you know, they Loved say it. this is Cascadia <laughs> on a little bit of coffee. You <laughs> know, Cascadia <laughs> uh, uh, is Cascadia Extra. And it really is, you it know, like, is. and it's oh so much God. replayability. So you know. much. I really I mean, you can I really, you it. can keep on playing it because you want to play it because it's, you know, you want to do another strategy like, oh, see, I didn't do yeah, that I should have done something right. different. <laughs> you know, and then you got all these meeples and yeah. stuff. Even though you're building your own little area, you still you know, can mess with yeah, you and deal with, with, the, your, with opponents. your opponents. Yeah. Yes, I like that. Yes. And, you know, Bad Comet is doing their thing. Yes, they've had some great games yeah, they come have. out. They've had yes, some they good have. Ones. And so yeah. I gave it a 9.2. Okay, so with yeah. your score in mind, it's, it gets a 9.6. Yes. So it is OFPG endorsed. And it really deserves yes. that too. That was a good one. It's a Check really good it game. Out. It's really a great good game. game. Yes. All right, so next now, one. Now, next list. one is Mind Up. Mm -hmm. It's a little card game from yeah, Pandasaurus Games. Another mm -hmm. card game, y'all. Yes. yes, and I want to get that on the table to check it out because it came out a little bit later in mm -hmm. 2023. And I liked it. It was cool. Yeah. Again, family. Yeah. It's a lot of good card games a out lot there. Of them. Last year, mm -hmm. a lot of good card, ga card games came out. This one, it's all right. It's okay. I mean, I would it's play hard. it again. Yeah, it's okay. Um, the Who artwork knows? is, you know, the cards. I mean, it's cards. It's colored yeah, cards. Yeah, it was colored you know, cards. There yeah. was no particular no, you know, artwork. No. It was nice and colorful. It was cool. Um, I don't know. The way you play the game, you know, where you, you put down this uh, uh, market of it's cards. Very, it's very luck. Yeah, it's very luck-based. Luck and then you're trying to figure out what cards you're trying to get. And you got to figure out, do I play my highest card? Do I play my lowest card? And what, what are your gonna opponents going to play? Because it's so, simultaneously, yeah, you know, you everybody's, simultaneously you know, turn over your card. You know, turn yeah. over your card. Yeah. And I think that was a problem because you, it's really hard to, put, you know, develop a strategy. Yes, yes. And you, you've got in your mind, I'm playing my highest card. Yes. I don't think anybody's going to get it. And if somebody else plays a higher so card, and they take the card mm -hmm. you want. Yeah. Or you end up follow, uh, getting to a card you didn't want at all, mm -hmm. somewhere in the middle. So for me, the gameplay wasn't that great for me. So overall, I gave it a five point eight. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Yeah, because you know, like, like you were saying, like you put these cards. Yeah. yeah it's five cards in the middle, yeah. and you got some cards in your hand, yeah. and you're like, I want that card, that third card. Yeah. I need. How that do third I get card. there? Because you make points, <laughs> you know, off of uh, you know the certain cards you have. Because some of the cards mm. that you get, the the lead card, I kind of like the base card. Mm. Tell you, like, okay, if you get the yellow card, you get. Two points for every yellow yeah, card. Yeah. And he's like, I need that yellow card because I got four yellow cards here. I need that yellow card. And it's the third one. Yeah. 
okay, so how am I going to use my yeah. numbers to get that third one where mm -hmm. everybody else gets stuff? That's hard. It's hard. That's it's hard to figure luck, that out. Yeah. Yeah, That's a with, lot of luck. With no other, uh, uh, you know, hints or anything yes. on how to get there. You, so, don't, you don't have no hints. Yeah. You have no hints. Yeah, it, it, you, you can't so, do a strategy. Yeah. So it's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Now, let me tell you, would you take it somewhere with you? Uh, really? No, because, okay. <sighs> we keep saying... There were a ton of great yes, card games. Yes, but you know what? I'm, I would probably, maybe I would take it just because I want other people to give it a shot and maybe they'll see something yeah. I don't see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's that's yeah, me too. See I so see. I gave it a 7.8. Overall score comes out to 6.8. Okay, all right. I think you, you, you're kind of low. But, yeah, yeah. You know, a little yes. low, but it's cool. I like mine up. Yeah. I like mine up. Yeah. All right, the next one is Moonraker's The Titan Edition from yes. Ivy Studios. Mm -hmm. Now, the game Moonraker's been out, but mm -hmm. this one gives you three ex expansions yes. inside, yes. a whole lot of other goodies inside, Because, yes. but ultimately, it is a deck-building mm -hmm. game, which is kind of co-op. Because you can go it alone on some of your mm -hmm, missions, mm -hmm. or you can try to negotiate yep. to get other players to kind of help you also along yep. while you try to battle pirates and stuff like that, trying to get cards, draft cards. Mm -hmm. So it's a really cool game. Now, in this Titan edition, you're getting the expansions uh, Binding Ties, yes. Overload, yes. and Nomads. Yeah, that gives you all different types of things that you can do mm -hmm. with the game from being co-op totally and doing mm -hmm. other things. So yeah, it's a little yeah, fun. It's, it's another one of those yeah. games that it's not my cup of tea per se. Yes. I had fun when we played it. Yeah. You know, but it's not my cup of tea. You yes. know, it's a different type of game that, that I wouldn't really gravitate towards. A lot of people towards. like it, though. I know, but it's just, just yeah. not mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, yeah. definitely. So, yeah. for me... But I like it, though. Um, I gave it high marks on theme. Uh-huh. I gave it high marks on replayability. Okay. Because, yeah, it's got all these different expansions. There's so many different ways you can play it. So, but what did you give it? What well, score? My, my overall was a 6.8. Really? Yeah. I did an eight point eight. But but you like that's Dang. that's up your alley. That's okay. your type of game. It's not my type of All game. All right, so we didn't get total at all. So total oh, score you're hurting is seven point eight. That's respectable. That's not bad. That's, that's, not, not, bad. Bad. that's mm -hmm. not bad. That's not bad. Yeah, I take that. I'll take it. All yes. right, so now the next one. Yes. Is one that we really, really like. And that is My Shelfie. Yes. From Lucky Duck Games. Phil Walker Harding. Yes. Is the designer. Now this yes. game gives you a connect for vibe yes, because you're dealing with this 3D yes, bookshelf. Yes. You got these little squares that you've got to try to fill in mm -hmm. different things for your shelf. You want to put trophies on there and books cats. and cats you, cat. and board games board and all games. those things. Yeah. And you've got different cards and objectives that you've got to yes. uh, uh, look, look out for while you're playing this yes. game. I am totally in love with this game. Love, love, love. Mm -hmm. And this one, I mean, the artwork was cute and quirky. Yes. Uh, the components were great. You know, you, you got to deal with some set collecting and in-game bonuses. Yes. And I gave it tens across the board. Really? I gave it a 9.2. I really like it. It is a good gateway it game. It is a good but gateway game. unlike Junk Draw, you know, you want to come back and play it. Yes, I, I didn't feel yeah. like I was working. No, you weren't. No, so I wouldn't feel like it. It was. It's just so much fun because yeah. you got objectives you got to meet while you put yes. in the tiles. Yes, and it's just so much fun. The components it's, were yeah. great. I mean, yes. the the concept is great. Yes, I mean it's, it's unique though. It's, it's Phil Walker Hardy. Yeah, what can you say? Yeah, Phil Walker Hardy. Yeah, so, so yeah. I gave it a ten. What did you give it? I gave it nine point two. So overall score is a nine point six. So it is O F P G endorsed. Yes, <laughs> yes. Now the next one is interesting. Yes. It's nacho pile, nacho Na pile, nacho pile, nacho it's, pile, nacho pile, <laughs> nacho pile. Small, and this is the small bag version because yes. they had a big bag version, but then they came around this uh, last year with the small bag version mm -hmm. where they changed the rules very extensively. Yes, and we played the new one, and this is and from that's from Panasaurus Panasaurus Games. Games. <laughs> yes, it's really a push your luck it game is. where you go into the bag, the actual bag where you you store it, and you pull it out. Mm -hmm. Nacho chips and kind of pushing your luck in a very interesting yeah. little uh, party game, but it's a party game. It is, and it's okay. Yeah, I mean, for yeah, me, okay. I gave it the highest mark was for the theme. 
I thought it was kind of cute that you've got these cute little yeah. triangular shaped chips that kind of look like nacho chips. The bag is a yes. nacho chip yes. bag and it's got that design like Doritos, to it. Y'all. Like Doritos, like Doritos. And then you yeah. got your little plates that you're putting your little yes. nachos on yes. and everything. I thought that was cute. And you can still, you can do a little take that There's and some stuff. take that. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. cool. But it's cool. Um, overall, I ended up giving it a 5.8. I gave it a 6.8. Okay. I gave it a 6.8. It was okay. Um, it was okay. It was okay. So, but, I mean, it's so many other party games I would pick before yes. that one. Yes. Same and one. Um, we actually tried this game with a group of people and they found it to be fun but they weren't they yeah. were just running yeah, we played, it. So. Yeah. They were like, okay, um, that's cool. Yeah, we want to try it with I asked, other I said, y'all people. Want, y'all want to play it again? I said, no. <laughs> yeah. We tried it with other people to see what they thought. Yes. So we gave it a 6.3 okay. overall. All right. Now, the next one is Nekojima from... Okay. I wasn't Un- going to try that, family. <laughs> I was not going to try that name at all, yeah. so I was hoping my love would do it, because I ain't, I ain't touching it. Well, this yeah. one's from Unfriendly Games. See, it was unfriendly to make that name. <laughs> exactly. It was unfriendly. And it is a dexterity game. Yes. And it's, it's, one. It's, it means, Nekojima means the island of cats. Oh, okay. Because you're a, dealing with cats. You, you kind of hang cats. cats. So you're building these uh, telephone poles. Yeah. And you've got to be able to move them without touching the telephone lines and then you get cats that's going to sit on top of the lines. But see, the crazy part is that one person touch one, uh, you know, it's, you, it's a team. It's a team. And yes. you you have one pole yeah. and, and your, other, your team has the other, other pole, pole you and y'all have it. to try to maneuver it <laughs> yes. and get it around and don't hit nothing. Yes. That's, it's hard, family. It is. But I won. It, me and Starla played with, with some other folk yeah. and and I won with yeah. my teammate. Yeah, I was on a different team. Yes, yes. It's, it's kind of makes me think of Twister, but with... Twister with poles yeah, and string. Yeah, poles. Trying to, yeah, kind of... Pole string and, and, and yeah. cats. And I have to yeah. say, I'm not a Twister fan. Really? I'm not a Twister Uh-oh. fan. Uh-oh. I see where so, this is going. Uh, my Uh-oh. overall score Uh-oh. Uh-oh. is a 6.8. Woo! I did an 8.4 because it was very interesting. You just... No, you did it because you won. Right. Your team no, won. No, That's no, why. no, no. It's a very interesting dexterity game that you don't see all the time. No, you, you don't. You do not it, see it something like that. It was a different concept. Yeah, yeah. So, overall, now, go ahead. But the thing is, the, if I want it in my collection, nah, eh, I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. But I, I'll play it if somebody got it. Though. Yeah. Yeah. So, the overall score with yours and mine comes mm-hmm. out to a 7.6. Okay. All right. All right. The next one on our list yes. is Neotopia from Arcane Wonders. Okay. All right. Now, Neotopia, you're building this futuristic city. Yes. And you've got these colorful little tile tokens mm-hmm. that you're going to place in the city. And each one of them have a different uh, thing they stand for. Yes. Some are for energy. Mm-hmm. Some are for sustainable food. Yeah. And some stand for community. And they're different colors. It's an abstract type game. And it's interesting. Well, there's three <laughs> sections. Three sections that you're, you're working at. Yes. You know, putting tiles in. Mm-hmm. And you have these cards that, yeah. you, you know, you have some cards in your hand. And you're also drafting some cards. And you're trying to build those cards. Yes. You know, you try to build those cards by putting placing tiles in the right kind of you know, order what yeah. the cards have. But you have a machine in yeah. the middle. Yeah, a machine and, that, and you, that you can get them from. That you from. get the tiles yeah. from. You have to yeah. place them in certain areas yeah. based on where they're located on the, the machine. And once the machine is empty, yeah. then you have a tile in the middle that you, you turn over mm-hmm. and they fill it up with what kind of tokens you got to put there. Exactly. And it's, it's an interesting game, yeah. but it was kind of... It didn't grab me. I'm just going to say it didn't grab me. Yeah, it didn't grab me. It didn't grab me. It was was okay, but it wasn't just like, wow, you know, this is really cool. I think because it's abstract. It's it's abstract. Yeah, I didn't really get into it where it didn't, the theme didn't really. The theme didn't, you know, grab me and say, hey, you know, this is is cool. Yeah. That's how I felt. Yeah. So for me, overall, I just gave it sevens across the board. Um, So what is that? It's a seven. Okay. But it's just like. The artwork okay, gameplay okay, yeah. mechanics okay, yeah. replayability yeah maybe yeah, maybe well, not. That's what that's what yeah. it, it, it hit for me that do I really want to play this again? Because yeah. it seems like yeah. it's gonna be the same old you know tune. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. It and was then okay. you know the theme yeah. was like. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I gave it a seven point four. All right. So the yeah. overall score between the two of us is a seven point two. Yeah. That's okay, cool. Seven point two. Yeah, that's cool. All right. I mean, I think it's good for gateways though. It's a good gateway game though. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good gateway. <laughs> yeah. You know. 
Okay, so the next one on our list is Namalia. Yes. From Lucky Duck Games. Uh huh. And in Namalia, you're building an animal sanctuary. Yes. And you've got these cards. At each card, you've got animals on there, yes. and you've got four different biomes, and you've got uh, you've got to place the cards on top of each other. I think they call them tiles, but they're really mm -hmm. square cards, and you place them on top of each other, and you've got these different scoring objectives yes. each round. I think it's what three scoring objectives each round. Yes. There's a different scoring objective, and so whatever you place for the first yeah. round. It's gonna change for the next round, so now you gotta go replay. Sometimes you're gonna put cards on top of other cards, and you're gonna cover up different biomes. I just thought because, it was smart. Yeah, because it's so cool. Because the three scoring conditions you have, you, you is A, B, and C. Yeah. But like on that first one, you're gonna do A and C. Right. Then on the next one, it's gonna be C and B. Right. And then it kind of <laughs> changes, and you're like, okay, wait a minute, I'm not gonna score from A no more. So I need yeah. to figure out because now it's the it, it's, it's it makes you pick some hard choices. It's, it's, a, it's a smart yes. game. It's it makes you think. Yes. It's a because, puzzle. Because it's a puzzle. When you're when you're doing that first scoring objective, you gotta start thinking about the next one. Yes. And am I setting myself up yes. to where I can make a score yes. on the next objective? Yes. And I fell in love with Namalia. Yeah. It's a real um, good game. Fun real game. Good. Uh, I really love the gameplay. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed the theme with the yes. different animals in the biomes. Yes. And for me, it got a 9.2. Yeah, because it makes you think. It's smart. And it keeps you on your toes. Yes. I gave it an 8.8. 8. All right. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'll take 8.8. Yeah. 8. yeah. But between our two scores, yes. it gets a solid 9. A solid 9. So that is an OFPG endorsed game. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Now this next one. Woo! It's a lot of talk on this one, but in this this couple's yeah. right here, the couple's right here. There's a lot of talk. This might be a relationship tester. Oh, very much so. We have another <laughs> family, another relationship <laughs> tester. And that is Outrun the Bear around from Around the Stump Game. Okay, yes. now this game is a one to six player game. Yes. Now, Mickey and I have played it a couple of times mm, as a, a two few player. Times, yes. Two player game. Yes. I don't recommend a two player game. No, no. Don't do it. Try to get some more friends get, involved. Get like, this is, this is a, a <laughs> game that can be a party game, but it's still just a strategic game a little bit because you try to kill your friends. Well, this game you are racing, or should I say running, running from a bear. For your life. So you're going to start at one end of the board at yes. the picnic area. This bear shows up. Like a fool he is. He and coming. now you've got to run to get to the car yes. before the bear gets you. Yes. And so you're going through different terrains. You've got muddy terrains. You've got like a stream of water. Yeah. You've yeah. got sandy areas. And each one of those different terrains have different uh, effects, effects yes. that you can have. Yes. And then you can get uh, equipment like a backpack and it's going to give you in different your, things in your, to in your help cards, you. The cards in yeah. your hand. You have yeah. cards. Yeah. But the thing is the bear is on the run. And and when you, when all the players do their turns with their cards mm -hmm. doing you know like one you know you get uh, you know like one thing you can do and you know you know playing with your cards try to get your cards straight the bear he gets a turn too <laughs> And when the bear is on the run, he is yep. coming after you. Yes, and you have to yes. turn over cards, <laughs> and the bear will use the number on the cards. I think it's the upper left, yeah. and he's he's coming. Well, for what you. happens? There yeah. are paw prints on the board. Yes, and you turn over a number of cards per paw print. Yes. that the uh, of the lead runner. Yes. So if there's four paw prints. Uh, from the lead runner to the end of the board, you're going to turn over four, four cards. cards. And if those cards have numbers on them, like a two, some will have a yes. zero. And, and some will have a three. Yeah, some have a three. So however many, whatever that total number is, that's how you many move spaces. The bear, up. the bear moves. The bear moves up. And if you're in the bear's way, you get you get you, 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 eight. you get that, you get eat up. And, and then you have uh, an opponent like mine. Will throw you in, to in a, bear. a two player game. There's a particular card where you can move somebody up to or move them back to. And for some reason, you ain't moving nobody up. For some reason, you ain't moving nobody up. My opponent here likes to move me back to. I don't want to get eaten. <laughs> You better have some ham. There's a card where you can you can give the bear some ham and stop them, you know. But if you don't have that card, it, it was crazy. It's crazy. It's a really cool game. Now the only thing I don't like about the game, I really I like the game a lot. But the only thing, it, it's either it's uh, the bear goes fast 
or I go slow. There's no in between. It's either going to come at you like crazy speed or it's going to go slow. Because one time we played on like um, the, the, yeah. the lower level and started saying, what's wrong with the bear? What's wrong I with him? I think he was sleeping. He, he ain't he going fast. Why he ain't Because we were, we were running away and started saying, what's wrong with the bear? <laughs> then we turned it on the other side with a little faster. That bear was on us. Like yes. like crazy, yeah. like white on rice. That bear was <laughs> on us. I was like, what the whoa? Yeah. So yeah, but it's no in between. That's yeah. the only thing I don't like. Well, it's no the in game between. is true to its name. Yeah, you have to outrun, outrun the, the bear. bear. Yeah, as I said, do not play as a couple. Find find mm -mm, some other people because mm -mm, I, I help you. I have not heard the last. <laughs> Of that, you let me get eaten up. No, I did not. Yes, you did. It's a game, and I'm trying to save myself. Well, it wasn't in even, the game. It wasn't you let me. You helped me. You you pushed me in front of the bear. It, but it's, anyway, it's just a game. It's <laughs> but just anyway. a game. But see, it, it was see. <laughs> just like we say, sell on this duel is just a game. That's relationship breaking. I, I, I love the game. Uh, I think I gave it its lowest marks on. Uh, components. Mm. Um, I just wish the components were a yeah, little bit. Yeah, that's true. It's uh, all cardboard. Yeah, and you yeah. got these little standees. I think it would be yeah. better if you had miniatures and that kind of thing. Yeah. But overall, it's a fun game, and I gave it an 8.8. .8. We we have a lot of fun with I that. I gave it an 8.6 <laughs> because, again, I said it's either 0 <laughs> to 60 and yeah. nothing in between. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it, that's it. Yeah. yeah. So, Outrun the Bear. Uh, with our two scores, comes up with an 8.7. Yes, it's 8. a fun 7. game, though. Fun it's a fun game. game, yeah. Fun game. Now, the next one, I, I was excited for when they said it. It's from Flat Out Games, y'all. Yeah. Y'all know they do the point salad. Yeah. Now, here comes Point City. Yes. That is Point Salad 2.0. Oh, yes. Yes, and I <laughs> love that game. It's almost the same thing with Point Salad, but a little bit more strategic. Yeah. You know, you do it, you're building a tableau. Mm -hmm. you, you well, know, you're building a city. You're building a city. Instead yeah. of a salad, you're building, you're building a, city. a city. And you get two yeah. choices, you know, and cards you can get. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, double use cards. Yes. Double use Just cards. Just like in Point Salad. Yeah, and mm -hmm. but this time you have resources on one side, mm -hmm. and then you have the, the, the building that you need to build on, on the, the other. other. Uh -huh. And it's Lots of fun. Lots of fun. Lots of fun. You, you're dealing with hand management. You're dealing with a little set collecting yes. on this yes. one. Yes. Um, card drafting. Yes. This game is so much fun. It's a lot of fun, y'all. I, I loved it. A lot of fun. I would play it anytime. Yes. It has a replayability factor yes. to it. Uh, it's got great components. It's colorful and yes. it's eye catching. Yes. Uh, I think it's great and I gave it a nine. And I think, you know, like when you have someone that's saying, hey, you know, we got point yeah. salad. Is there anything else? Yes. Point city. Point city. <laughs> point city. Yes. So I gave it a 9.6. So our overall score yes. is a 9.3. So this game is. OFPG endorsed. Ding, ding, yeah. <laughs> there we go, there we go. All right, so next on our list is Pollen, Pollen. from All Play. Yes, one of the kind of bigger box games. Yes, now yeah. this one is a, you're building a garden. Yes. And you're putting these different flowers together mm -hmm. and you're trying to attract pollinators like mm -hmm. bees and, yes. and beetles and yes. butterflies to your yes. garden. And so you have these different objectives of how you're going to do all that, but the game is colorful. It's, it's puzzling. wonderful. It's, nice it is, puzzle. it's a puzzly game, but it's a great game for uh, people who are new to the hobby. We've introduced it to mm -hmm. newcomers and they catch on to it yes, really they do. quickly yeah. Yeah. And, and, and have they fun do. with it. Yeah. yeah. Now, now, you know, it's by the doctor. Evil bow tie man, <laughs> Dr. Ryan Knizia. Yeah. <laughs> it's from him, mm -hmm. and it's really colorful. Well, you know who did the art? Yeah. Bell Sober. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. Bell Sober <laughs> did the art, so it's beautiful. Yes. But it's a really cool game. Mm -hmm. uh, you can pick it up quick, but it's not really gateway, I don't think. I, I think it is because we tried it. I don't think it's too it. gateway. I think it's a little bit past gateway going toward <sighs> a medium. A little bit. I think I, it's I don't agree close with that. Medium. I think I it's gateway because I mean your two main things is tile placement and area yeah, majority. Yeah. Area Once majority you can figure, tile figure those two things out, yeah. that's the game. You know. You know. So I, I think it's kind of gateway, I but I think little, it's great yeah. for I people who are already in the hobby like us. Yes. We had fun with it. Yes, we did. Yeah. So we had fun with it. But so see, yeah. that's the key thing, though. We had fun with it, and mm -hmm. we played a lot of games. Yeah. And and I yeah. and we also introduced it to someone who's not really a gamer. Yeah. But I still think. Is going toward medium. Okay. Yeah, well, my so. overall yeah. score for Pollen was a was an eight point eight. I thought you liked it. I do like eight point eight. Is a good score. You what do you it. mean? It's a good score. I gave, I gave it a, a nine point two. Okay. Well, that's an even better. I thought score. you liked it. So the overall score what? is a nine. Okay, nine. Okay, so, so nine. So Pollen 
It's OFPG endorsed. Yes. yes, it is. But it barely made it. I thought <laughs> it did, you liked it. It did not barely make okay, it. It's, okay, okay. All right. That's my opinion. That's my opinion, family. Well, I'm definitely going to leave right. this next one to you. What? Okay, family. <laughs> you know, this is raw. Raw. Okay, From should, 25th should, Century should Game. Should, raw! I shouldn't have done that. So, so family, when you play this game, and when it's your time to get the, you know, to get the little, you know, that, that, that raw, <sighs> you got to say it. You got to <laughs> feel it. You, you said it. What? You, you said it twice. Can I say no, it again? No, don't do it to the really? people. Don't do it. Raw! <laughs> You gotta hit it and say raw. Well, actually, this is yeah. raw, the deluxe edition. Yes, we have the deluxe edition, but they yeah. do have we have the deluxe and the retail yeah, this version. This is the deluxe edition yeah. that came out in twenty twenty three. Yes. Now this game is all about auctioning, auctioning, and set collecting. Yes. And then placing and the tiles your luck. in the right place that you need them yes. to be in, and then pushing your luck, like yes. you said. And it is a fun, fun. Yeah. It can be quite noisy game. Yes, it can. <laughs> With certain people. Yes, it can. But overall, it's just a fun game. And it's, it's a really cool <laughs> bidding game, but you got to be really smart because your opponents, mm -hmm. okay, and you got to look and see what kind of mm -hmm. bidding power they have, like the little sun discs yes. will get, have numbers, and, and you, you need those numbers to outbid people, so you have to look around and say, okay, who can I outbid, and who can outbid me? Because yes. when some of the tiles come up, you want to get a whole bunch of them or one that you really, really want, but you're like, I, I got a 10, but Starla got a 14. So if I want those those juicy tiles, I can't get it because she gonna, you know, if, she might if get. If she me. wants it, if she wants you it, but, don't know. but you, you don't know. So you have to be. You, it. But see, you don't know, <laughs> and you're scared. So well, you, you know, should, you shouldn't be scared. Yeah, you got you got to be scared sometimes. <laughs> but Raw is a great game. I love it. So I gave it a 9.6. Well, I gave. Uh, it a 9.8 actually. Really? I gave it a higher score than you. Really? Yes. Yes. I'm so glad about that. Overall, uh, it is a 9.7 total. Endorsed, baby. And it is OFPG endorsed. Yes. yes. <laughs> really good game. Now, this is mine. That is this next is two of yours. River Wild, and it is a. Uh, it's a button shy game, 18 mm -hmm. cards. Uh -huh. And in River Wild, this is family. I really like it, but it's a hard puzzle because you you start with like a source and you have the cards you got to build out you know like the river you got to build out a river yeah. and build it down yeah. and you can't go back up you can't go too far but you got to build and you're trying to make islands okay. you're trying to make you know islands that are surrounded right. Right. that have like you know different animals on their fantasy uh, you know like a unicorn a dragon that has some fantasy you know uh, animals on there and some of the cards give you conditions like on your island, you gotta have like two dragons or you know three you know jackalopes and stuff like that, and you're trying to meet those conditions. It's hard, family. <laughs> it is hard, but it's a fun game. It's a fun puzzle. Mm -hmm. it's, it's you know it's a solo game. I play it as a solo game, and it is fun. You want to get back and say, okay, can I do better? Yeah. Can I do better? And that's what I like about Buttonshot and River. Wild. So what did you? Think I get seven point eight. Seven point eight. Seven point eight. Okay, that's a solid score. Yeah, it's it's, solid it's hard. Score. The only reason it's kind of you know kind of took a hit because it's so hard. It's so. And it's hard. one of the mm. hard ones. Okay. So yeah, so yeah, but I still like it though. All right. It's still so what's cool. next on your list? Our uh, next one is Riverside from Stronghold Games, mm -hmm. and it's a rolling right. Oh. But it's a okay. tough one. It's you know mm. the rules on how to, to do this rolling right. It's a math game. Oh. You know, because, you know, Jared, you know, Susie and Jared, love y'all. Oh, we were at Carver Caucus. Okay. And it was, the rules were kind of really heavy math. Jared, you know, he piped up and said, I love math. Here you go. Gave him the rule book. And we had to figure it out. And then we had to play it. But it was really kind of complicated. Mm. So, you know, it was cool and all, but... It didn't have to be so complicated, mm. you know, because you're using this boat to go around these different areas on, you know, you're on the, you know, you're doing the riverside where you're going around and trying to match up different, you know, tourist attractions that you want people on your boat to go to. Still a little yeah. complicated. Mm. So I gave it a, a seven. Okay. Yeah, I gave it a seven. Yeah. Another solid score. Another solid score. Now, I know it's not a roller white. I'm not going to even ask you to play it. I'm not, not going to even ask you. So that's yes, good. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So the next one on our list uh -oh, is here we go. Romy Romy Woo! from Randolph Games. Yes. This is a card game. Oh, yes. It is a uh, Rummy variant. Yes. And it's just, just if you know how to play Rummy, you'll be able to pick this up really quickly. Um, 
You just make the most points by optimizing your different combination of cards. Mm -hmm. There's some trophies out there you want to mm -hmm. try to win. And there's different uh, objectives out there. So you're looking at hand management mm -hmm. and you're looking at a market. They have a market yes. where you're getting a cards from. Get card, yes. It is an addictive game. Family. Yes. I stress that 2023 has some great card games. Great card games. This is one of the best. Yes. We got this. We still playing it. <laughs> and we, and we, when we first got it, we played it. And we played it again. They want to introduce we the people. Introduce it to and people. We introduced it to people. We played it again. <laughs> this, is, this is always going to be in a bag for a great filler game. Yes. And this card game, yeah. we, I can't say enough about it. Now, for can't me, really say this card game, everything was, was tens across the board except for one. What? Uh, the gameplay was great. Mechanics was great. Yeah. Replayability was great. Yeah. Theme was great. Yeah. But it fell flat on the artwork. What's wrong right Art, Artwork was just simple. It's okay. It's, it's just simple. Oh, it's a card game. It's a card it's game. It's a card game. Simple artwork. Yeah. You know, but other than that, it's a wonderful game. What did you give it? I gave it a 9.4. Oh, I gave it a 9.2. See? Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> but it, I mean, this is, you know, because we keep talking about these card games and yes. some that we didn't really like that much. Yeah. But because you have games like Romy Romy yeah. that blow them out the water. That blow them out the water. You know? And so Romy Romy got an overall score of 9.3. Yes. So it is OFPG endorsed. Bing, bing, bing. <laughs> yes. All right, this next one's on you. The next one is the Royal Limited. It's another button shy game. That 18 cards where you have this train and you're trying to put, uh, you know, uh, passengers on the train, uh, you know, using numbers and, and colors and things like that. And it is a fun game. I kind of still put, you know, Ancient Realm up high, but I put the Royal Limited right after it. And it is a really, really fun game. I really enjoyed it. It's a solo game, mm -hmm. too. They had like an expansion come out not too long ago. I went online to Kickstarter and I got the expansion. I had to do it. I had to do it. I had to do it. It was just too much fun. It was too much fun. And then they have one other expansion that I want where it's like the Orient Express where you have to solve a murder yeah. on it. And I was like, whoa. Okay. So yeah, out of 18 cards, y'all. 18, 18 cards. cards. <laughs> so yes, I like it. So I gave it an 8.6. Oh, that's a really good score. Yes, it was okay. a fun game. Now the next one we fell in love with immediately. Yes. And that is Santa's Workshop yes. from Elf Creek Games. Yes, this is second edition. Second edition. Yes. And in this one, you are building toys. Yes. You're, you're taking care of your reindeer. You're decorating Santa's tree. Yes. And, and it's just the cutest little game. Yes, it is. I love it so much. We had a lot of fun with it. The artwork is really playful. And, you know, it very makes you think too. of very, very diverse, diverse artwork. Makes yeah. you think of Christmas, you know. Yes. It's got the theme in there with yes. all the things that tied together. I fell in love with it. And for me, it was nines across the board. I gave it a nine, too. Now, let me ask you, would you play this outside of Christmas? Probably not. <laughs> no, it, but it's not. It's really? Not, yeah, because I mean, I don't Christmas theme things. I don't do outside of the Christmas holiday yeah, time. Yeah. So you're not gonna see me pull out my Christmas tree no. in May. So I wouldn't pull so this, this is, one out. But this but, is one you have to play during Christmas. Before the holidays, yeah. Yeah. I want to play this extensively. Yeah. This is something I want to play and share with other people for the yes. holidays. You know, we've been trying to build up our collection of themed games, yes. such as Halloween and yes. Christmas and all that. And we yes. we really worked hard this last year yeah. doing that. And this is one of them. So this is a solid one for Christmas. This is solid yeah, for Christmas. Solid Lots for Christmas. of fun. Yeah. Put it on the table. Yes. I mean, you can even do this after Thanksgiving because you know a lot of people start decorating yeah, for Christmas. Yeah, you can do this. So during yeah. your Thanksgiving holiday yeah. weekend, pull out Santa's workshop. Because it's so cool that you got these. You have to find you know different you know materials to build the toys. The toys, yeah. And that's how you get points when you build the contracts of the toys, mm -hmm. and then you got to get set collection of the reindeer. Yes. It's, it's a lot of fun because I told you I'm gonna try to pimp up my Santa's <laughs> workshop though. I'm trying to pimp it up because this is really it's a really cool yeah. game, yeah. and I really enjoy it. And I gave it a nine. And I gave it a nine. So, so overall score of nine. So it is OFPG endorsed. Ding, ding. <laughs> Christmas time yes. is coming. Yes. <laughs> now, this next one is Sovereignock e Forest, mm -hmm. or Sovereignock Forest uh, from Devere. Yes. And it's another card game. Yes. And the it's animal. It's kind of a tile land game, it's, really. Well, yeah, because you, you use tile, your cards. Yeah, your cards like as tiles. a tile. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. And you gotta, you know, you're, you're feed. placing yeah. animals yeah. in the forest, yeah. and they've got cer certain foods they like to eat. They have yes. a preference for certain foods, yes. whether it's nuts or eggs or something yeah. else. 
and it, it was okay. I, Again, family, a lot of good card games out there. This is one of Devere's like smaller box yeah, games. Yeah. It was okay. Well, you know, it was okay. And you're building your forest by sections. It was okay. And, and and I don't know. I mean, the animals are cute. You know, you got a hedgehog out there. You got it was squirrels. Okay. It's, it was cute, but it, it, it okay. kind of fell flat. Yeah, it was okay. Uh, a little bit. It wasn't yeah. something I was like, okay, like, let's just I, do it You know, again. we got to put this in my bag. It was, yeah. it was okay. It yeah. Was okay. So for me, yeah. Um, I ended up giving it a 7.4. Oh, you gave it, okay. I, I gave it a 7.2. Okay, so we're right yeah. in line. Yeah, it's right yeah. there. Yeah. So overall, it's a 7.3. Yes, and that, that's a good score. You know, it's a good it's score. It's a good score. I mean, is it kind of, do you think it's kind of gateway, kind of? I, I think it could be gateway. It's, it's a little yeah, gateway, it's a little yeah. Gateway. It's a nice yeah. little table yeah. present, very colorful. Yeah. It's not too many components. Not too many. You know, the rules are... Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. 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 So it's okay. All yeah. right. It's okay. So the last one on our Woo! Now this is mine right here. I love this one. <laughs> this the last one for our part two show of Rating yes. the Games of 2023. Yes. Is Sea Salt and Paper from Pandasaurus Games. There's gonna be some contention here, family. I would just tell you. A little contention. Let's go. All right, well, the card game got a lot of hype. Yes, when and deservedly out, so. When it came out, all I heard from you and yes. we were looking on, on YouTube, yes. sea salt and paper. Yes. Sea salt and paper. Yes. So I, I got my hopes up. Okay. For uh -oh. sea salt and uh -oh. paper. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Now, the cards themselves, artwork outstanding, and beautiful. that was the, the highest score uh, origami, I gave it. Beautiful. The origami art is beautiful. beautiful. Yes. Um, The look of the cards, that whole... Uh, see, you know, it's lighter colors and kind of pastel -y. Yeah. I, I thought it was great. Yes. Uh, the gameplay was okay. It was good. Um, Very good. The game is similar to a rummy type game. Yes, it is. There's some set collecting going on and hand it's a management. It's trick-taking, isn't it? Uh, some hand management. Um, push your luck. Push your Definitely luck. Yes, push, push your, your luck. luck. Yes, but, push your luck. Um, yes. I, I wasn't overall just head over heels as you were and as other yes. people were yes. about this particular game. Uh, yes. Was it fun? Yes. Yes. I really enjoyed the push of luck. Know, I know. And you know, it's a little bit of, you know, a little take that, a little, little bit, a little yeah. bit. But it's, you know, the set collection is really fun. Yes. The art is so beautiful, you know, and so I really like this game, family. Yes. I really like it. And it's, you know, small box. Yes. It packs a punch in a in a small box, yeah. and I can you can take it anywhere, play it anywhere. Yeah. I really enjoy it. I gave it nine point four, and it deserves it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so yes, my score. Oh boy, here we go. Is an eight point two. It's tragedy, tragedy, <laughs> tragedy. But the overall score comes out to an eight point. Eight. Just a little bit shy it of that nine, but shameful. But shameful. It, it is a fun game. Yes, it is. Um, I guess it didn't live up to the hype that I was expecting. Really? What kind I of just, hype were you expecting? Well, what everybody was talking about, and I was just really? like, "It's there." Okay. It's there. Okay. I think you need to play it a few more times. We played it several times. I know we okay. have. Well, anyway, it's, that's 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 yes. me. And, that, that's and, Starla. <laughs> but you know, but you know, it's you know, some people like some games one yes. way, and some people like the other exactly, way. So exactly. even though I think it's a tragedy. Okay. You know, I still love you know seesaw and paper, and I respect you. Well, I respect those, your opinion. Thank you. Yes. So those are the yes. games. Yes, um, they are. For our ratings, and that yes. is part two. Yes. And we'll have part three next week, and we will yes. finish up the games we played yes. uh, from 2023. So I hope you guys will come back again next week yes. to see the last ones we have and which ones got OFPG in Oh, we're going to have some more contentious now, debate. Now, this week, we've got almost uh, I mean, we twice got... as many endorsed yes, as did. last week. Yes, we did. It was a lot so, of good games on that list. A lot of good list. games. A lot, a lot of, good, of games. good games on that list. Yes. Yeah. So that's it for that. Yes. All right, this week we have another Ask OFPG video question. Yes. So let's take a look. All right. Hi, Megan Starla. My name is Jonathan Liu, and this is my daughter Mika. And Mika loves being silly, and so we wanted to know what is the silliest game that you've played? 
All right, that was a really good yes. question. Yeah. Now, now, okay, now we thought long and hard now. Yes. Mika and Jonathan, y'all made us think. <laughs> yes. Y'all made us think. Thank you for that question. Though. We, mm -hmm. You made us think. And we say, silliest game. Yeah, we don't play too silliest many silliest, game. silliest games. We really don't. We don't play silly games, <laughs> you know. But we, but then Starla thought hard. Mm -hmm. And and we came up with yes. Dodos riding dinos. And it is silly. It is fun. It's silly. It it's is silly. silly. It's I fun mean, though. Just the title alone, Dodo Birds riding dinos. Come on. And you got <laughs> little miniatures with that on there. Yes. And it is a silly, crazy, <laughs> yes. fun game it is a dexterity game yes. it's a race yes and you've got these crazy uh different powers variant powers for each player and you got some take a lot of take that now listen <laughs> you have stall of hair dexterity game and liking it a lot and i played it several times several with times. different people yes a lot of you times. know so yeah. you're riding your little dodo and you're trying to get across the finish line first mm -hmm. and then you have someone to play a card on you saying that they have to throw bananas at you and, they have and to you're throw doing a banana a like this way or, yeah or they got to drop a drop meteor, a meteor on, on you, on you. Or, it's crazy. You know, so it's crazy. it is it's a fun, silly though. game, but a yes. fun game. Yes. And you really made us think. You made us think. <laughs> and so, because, see, we don't have the game in our collection. We don't. We yes. play with other people. Yeah, we play with other people because we have some other, we have friends that have yeah. this game. Yeah. And we play it with, with them, but it is a fun game. Game. Silly game. It's a fun, silly game. <laughs> yes. So thank you so much for that Thank question. you so much. Love y'all. Love, Love y'all. you guys. Thanks All right. again. All right. So we're going to wrap this episode up. Yes. And we want to say, uh, if you haven't checked out the latest episode of OFPG Voices, uh -huh. and that one was civilization-themed games. Yes. You need to do so. Go. We had a great a uh, list of contributors. Yes, we did. We had Daniel on there, mm -hmm. the Nerd Shell, yes. and then Amanda Panda with her interview. With Mosaic Games. Mosaic yes. Games. From out of India. Yes. And then our Good Human segment was done by Sam Healy. Yes. Now, a lot of you know him from the Dice Tower, mm -hmm. but he also has his own show called The Flip Side of Board Games. Yes. He did a wonderful, oh, he, wonderful he, segment. He, he dropped the mic on us, y'all. Yeah, he you need to mic. check it out. And yeah, we just want to say thank you so thank much you to so our contributors much. and to Sam. Sam, thank for you. being part of our OFPG so Voices yes. uh, episode. Yes. Now, where is OFPG going next? Where are we going? Well, we are going, we going? to the Highlander Accelerator. Woo! Yes, for our yes. first community game night yes. for 2024. Yes. We will be there on February 24th from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. Now, if you're hungry, we've got Big Mama's mm -hmm. Kitchen open. We're going to have Dina's Place there, Best Burger. So come on out, eat your dinner with us, and then come play some board games. So come early so you can eat, and then yes. come play some games. All right, now we have one more thing happening that mm -hmm. night mm -hmm. that's very special. Dave Rosser, he's a game master from out of Omaha. Very, he's very, very good family. He's gonna do some D and D one shots. Okay. And he's uh -huh. gonna bring out, you know, the terrain. He's gonna <laughs> help you with characters, building characters. Yeah. He gonna have, it gonna help all the people that really wanna check out Dungeons and Dragons mm. and all the role playing. Okay. So definitely come out for that. I'm excited. I might, if I have time. I might even try. <laughs> you know, I might even try. All right, yes. everybody, tell a friend. Come on out. Come and on. Join us. Come on. For the first game night of the year. It's gonna be good, y'all. <laughs> it's gonna be. It, we, we, we gonna have some fun. We gonna have fun. Now, Starla, where can you find OFPG out here? Where in social media <laughs> land? Well, if you're looking for our family plays game, uh -huh. you can find us on Facebook. Yes. Instagram. Yep. Twitter. Yep. Right here on YouTube. Right here. And on our website. Website. <laughs> yeah. And TikTok. 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 Yeah. And if you're in Omaha, Nebraska. That's local family. You can find us on Cox Channel 22. Yes. Saturdays at 8.30 p.m. Uh -huh. And Tuesdays at 4.30 p.m. Family, thank you so much for coming out and checking out our rating all these games we played in 2023. Thank you so much. Hey, if you got any questions or comments, please come through. Let us know down below. We love hearing from you. But family, there's one thing. One thing we want you to always know during Black History. We love you. Bye, Bye now. Everybody.